Hi guys and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So, let's get in here and see what's going on. Emerald Grove. Seems to be a tiefling village and we just killed a tiefling or two back there, so probably not the best idea. Children here, you fool. We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Mm. <laughs> you can cough up my payment any time now. Druid? Those goblins didn't take any prisoners. We lost him back at the ruins. Whole place is crawling with gobbles. He trusted you. Nobody forced him to go with us. He insisted. And when things got tough, he couldn't keep up. Simple as that. My God, you're a coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Take a swing at the tiefling, aim a blow at the human. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. 15, oh. Oh, nice. I was going to say this is a tough one, but went well. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. Goblins could arrive at any moment. So what is this, a village? I'm more worried about this parasite than a few goblins. We need a healer. Emerald Grove Environs. What is this place? Very well. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Shadowcrab. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Why not? Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Mm. What brought you here? We're refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after gnomes attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent, an infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city of Elturel briefly dragged to the hells. Okay. Um, if you survived that. If your people survive that, they'll survive anything. So I hoped. But we've lost so many already. And more will die if we're forced out again. Hmm. I need a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer. But he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. 
This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Okay. Where is the heart of the grove? Is it up here? Oh, this is the guard post? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Maybe inside. Down here inside this place. Oh, probably down there. That looks like a heart of a grove. Don't even know what a grove is, but okay. <laughs> the hollow. Who is this guy? Refugees, adventurers, no one in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Um, are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. Hmm. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Can we sell all of this stuff? Whoops. Uh. Oh, okay. Is there a faster way to do this? Shift click? No. No, 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 no. Um, from there? No. Not that. Okay. Trade all of this. Okay. What else do we have? A jug. These. This. Another jug. Some of those. Those. Candles. Maybe we still need them. We can sell all of this stuff. Okay, we got some money. Sylvanas, guide your path. Get us killed. Hungry ox, bored ox, and strange ox. <laughs> Donny, who's Donny? I see all alone here. Just give me the sign, I. Hmm. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible or boring. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Turn around to see what has his attention. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. Hmm. Perception failed. Okay. Collector of valued objects. Okay. Please, let my daughter go right now. 
She's a thief, Hellspawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> what the hell? Give him a chance. You get back. Why? What's so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Corga's orders. Um, I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Okay. Who is Giorga? Volo. Procurer of Associate Stories and Couriers. Who is Korga? Back here, probably. Tuffet. <laughs> Where is Korga? <laughs> Elwyn, Eilar, Ingwi, Tehan. Where is Korga? In here? Yeah, maybe. Stone door. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a a what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Thief? Poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come the hell? <laughs> we took back the idol. Surely do it. Hmm. Nature. Read Kaga's mind. Hmm. A thirteen. Nice. Halsen is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. You've proven your authority, now prove your mercy. Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sivasif, Tila, to me. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin w Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Hmm. You're supposed to talk to her? Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Yep. Uh, nope. Uh, 
Um, you're projecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Zevlet believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then it seems I must speak to Zevlot. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Okay. I guess what does Gale that have to say? has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth, if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Putting a child on display like this was monstrous. Monstrous. I'm glad I've, we've intervened. Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. What? <laughs> okay, so... What now? What's that? Get help from Healer Netty. Find the Healer Netty. I see you. Just give me a moment. Wait patiently. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? Um, I'm looking for Nettie. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. I hear Halsen's the best healer around. I need to find him. You and every other soul here. I can help if something's wrong. I'm no Master Halson, but I can manage. Do you um? Do you know anything about mind flayers? Why are you asking? Um. I have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole. A mind. Flare tadpole. Um, you know of them? Can you help me? I, uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. That doesn't sound too confident. I need to be quick. This way. Okay. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the uh. woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. The drow and I have the same kind of parasite. I'm hoping for less grave cure. I'm hoping for a less grave cure. Huh. 
I'll do the best I can. I'm no uh. master Halson mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'm interested in the procedure, actually. Please, go ahead. All right. Let's see what we can do. Um... I'll take anything that can help. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Um... I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me. It saved my life. Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a mind flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me. So I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. Okay. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now. Do I have your word or not? Sure. I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that. But thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Um, that's good news? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. So, go and get him? I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Alright, I'll find housing. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, Remember the vial. Remember your oath. Okay. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. Uh. nonetheless. Examine. 
I'm sure it'll be very entertaining for the rest of us. <laughs> uh, what vessel? Wyvern toxin. Examine? Hmm. Hmm. So what was the door that opened behind her? One of these? What's that? So all of this is stealing. I don't know what she was talking about, the vessel, but let's get out of here. <coughs> this way, I think. Uh, yeah. Here we go. This is a nice, um, cave they have here. Um, now we have to go this way, I guess. And from here we go this way. And we can talk to that other guy to help them out of here. And we can go rescue the other one. Rescue the Druid Halsen. Um, okay. Get help from Mihila Netty. Completed. Find a cure. Save Arabella, save the refugees. Okay. Find the cure. Through its grove, save the refugees. Why are these here? Rescue the druid. Let's go do that. Can we get out? Do they let us out? One crisis after another. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. Can't get there. I failed to no, we can't get out. Um, maybe through here? Mm, maybe then we can't get in again. This way? Where does this go? Wait, what is this? Hmm. Okay, now we open the, the gate. Now let's get down here. Oh, we can level up. Twenty three health, nice. Sorcery points, spell slots, spell slots, gain to spell, so spells. Ooh, cloud of daggers, forty four slashing. Cloud of spinning daggers that t attacks anyone inside. Ten turns. Oh, these are all level two spells now. Web. Shatter. Sea invisibility. Scorching ray. 66 fire damage. Three rays of fire. Blur. Blindness. Crown of madness. Darkness, dark vision, detect thoughts, enhance ability, phantasmal force, misty sweep, mirror image, knock, old person. This one sounds nice. And meta magic, heightened spell, 
quicken spell, subtle spell. Cost one, um, you can cast spells while silenced. Um, heightened spell, target of spells that require saving throws have disadvantage on their first saving throw. Spells that cost an action cost us bonus action instead, so we could do two of those two spells in one turn. That sounds good. Okay, accept. <coughs> Arcane Trickster. Increased. Now he has Mage Hand, Cantrips, Spells, and Spell. Oh, now this guy has Cantrips? Shocking Grasp, Blade Ward, Friends, Dancing Lights, Light on an Object, Minor Illusion, And true strike. Gain advantage on your next attack roll. For two turns. Huh. Maybe... Dancing lights and true strike? Spells. Charm. Color spray, blind creatures up to a combined of 33 hit points, disguise self, Tasha Sidious Laughter and Sleep. Color spray and Tasha's Laughter. Expanded, what's this? Burning Hands, Ray of Sickness, possibly poisons the target. Magic Missile, okay. So now this has a lot of, this guy has a lot of abilities. Level 3, Wizard. Spells. Oh, now he has no some nice spells too. Arcane Lock. Close a door, container with a magical lock. Blindness. Blur. Cloud of Daggers. Crown of Madness. Instill madness in a humanoid enemy, making them attack the creature closest to them, other than you, even if it's allied. Huh. Detect Thoughts. Hold Person. Flaming Sphere. Summon a flaming sphere that damage nearby enemies and objects. You can move the sphere, it emits a bright light. 10 turns. Knock. Oh no, unlock. Okay. By a mundane lock. Hmm. Magic Weapon, Melf's Acid Arrow. Okay. 4d4 plus 2d4 on the next turn, I guess. Huh. Um, mirror Image. Maybe the Flaming Sphere and... This one. Okay. Accept. So these ones were added to the ones we had, I guess. 28th health, nice. 
Superior dice. Your superior dice are d8s. You have four. At fighter level 10, these dice become d10s. They fuel your battle master maneuvers and are ex expended upon use. You regain expended superior dice after a short or long rest. Maneuvers. Direct an ally to strike a foe. The ally uses a reaction on their next turn to make a weapon attack. Disarm attack. Spend a superior die to make an attack that deals an additional 1d8 damage and possibly forces foes. Forces the target to drop the weapon they are holding. Distract your target giving your allies advantage. You can evade attacks by imposing disadvantage on melee attacks against you for a round. You can use both your action and bonus action on a turn to attack a target with advantage and deal an additional d1 d8 damage. This one seems okay, it seems really good. Goading attack. Deal an additional 1d8 and attempt to goad the target into attacking you. Target receives disadvantage on attacking any other creature. So this is a, a taunt, more or less. Spend a superior die to make an attack that deals an additional 1d8 damage on hit. Select which friendly creature will gain half its movement speed. It will not provoke attacks of opportunity. Spend a die, 1d8 damage, possibly frightens the target. Spend superior to add to the result. To add it to the result to an attack roll. Okay. Spend a superior die to make an attack that deals an additional 1d8 and possibly pushes the target back. To grant an ally 8 temporary hit points, bolstering their resolve. When a hostile creature misses you with a melee attack, expend a superior die to retaliate with a powerful strike that deals an additional 1d8 sweeping attack. Attack multiple enemies at once, roll your superior die for damage. That sounds good. Knocks the target prone. Um, fainting? Hmm. Maybe instead of this one, I take this one. Okay, accept. Oh, level 3 is quite nice, it seems. Um, are we outside? No. Oh, we are still inside, yeah. Okay. There, where does this bridge go? Ah, it goes up here. Okay, guys. So, that's it for this episode. Um, we just leveled up. And next time we will go to see about saving that druid. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Come back for more next time and see you soon. Bye.